I am Mayor Enzo. I have a team dedicated to the service, safety, and welfare of Leo Columbia, as well as to management of the entire city. Hello, I'm Scientist Liam. I have a team dedicated to studying the geography, climate, and water of Leo Columbia. Hi, I'm Engineer Owen. I have a team of water, solar, transport, and civil engineers dedicated to building what Leo Columbia needs most. Together, we have been thinking of the threats to Leo Columbia's water supply, and we have researched and imagined what solutions could work. We have planned a course of action, built prototypes, and tested and improved on them. And now, we will show you what has worked. Without further ado, we present Leo Columbia. Welcome to Leo Columbia. Located in the center of the state of South Carolina, with a population of 200,000 people, Leo Columbia is a bustling city full of technological innovations that make life great for both citizens and visitors. As the overall city is so spread out, we have divided our model into three separate sections of our city to show everything important. On the far right in the industrial section, we have our solar farm and the industrial facilities. Our industrial facilities are mostly technology based and our solar farm is just an example of the many across Leo Columbia. And in the middle, we have the commercial and residential section. Various services and buildings are shown, including greenscapes, gyms, restaurants, public safety buildings, the University of South Carolina, as well as the South Carolina State House. And on the far left, we have Friendly Park with other green spaces next to the water filtration plant and the wastewater plant. In addition, we also show the city sources of water, the Broad River Diversion Canal, and Lake Murray. Within our water filtration plant, we have installed reverse osmosis filters so that we can filter out all known pollutants, all known microplastics, and in addition, all known heavy metals. Leo Columbia is powered by solar and hydropower, meaning that our citizens can enjoy energy without all of the environmental costs. Our city's Palmetto Public Protection Act continues to educate our citizens about our reliable water system and ensures the health, safety, and welfare of all citizens. We post various commercials on all different platforms for our safe water. For example, the billboard is seen in your country. More importantly, we have implemented a safe water program for pre-K to 12th graders and for adults in surrounding communities. We also have a new transportation system in the city. Our transportation is, is self-driving, solar powered, and therefore electric. This means that you can have safe, self-driving, and emissionless transportation. It, the service is also free so that we can promote public usage to save the environment. AI is also used in many other services that require 24-7 supervision to maintain quality and energy efficiency. However, there will always be engineers on hand if the system alerts them that anything is going wrong. First, let's talk about energy. Leo Columbia's solar farm not only takes energy from the sun, but it also puts its wasted energy to good use. We do this by taking the gray water from our industrial facilities and run it through pipes. Those pipes are then heated by our solar panels, causing the water inside to turn into water vapor. When this happens, the, the waste in the water is left behind. Then the water recondenses into the water vapor recondenses into water and is redistributed back into the industrial facilities. As you can see, our solar panels also move with the sun for maximum energy and put in output. The new hydropower turbines as seen here are installed in the water filtration and in the local Lake Murray Dam, meaning filtering and running water through these pipes will always produce energy. Please refer to the hydropower dragger in your brochure. Instead of numerous large scale batteries, there are water storage facilities like these located throughout the city. As water flows down from these storage containers, it spins the hydropower turbines, thus creating the energy. Speaking of water, the city also has a new water saving system. So, we have a diagram here in the brochure as well. We take gray or used water from toilets, sinks, and showers, places like that. Then we transport that to the advanced wastewater treatment plant, where solids and bacteria are filtered out. Then it can be sent back to homes to be used for non-potable reuse, such as toilets and irrigation. This saves around 65% of all Leo Columbia's water usage, and it is very efficient. 
While we're on the topic of saving, Leo Colombia's indoor vertical farms save land. Plus, very little water is used compared to the traditional irrigation system. All of Leo Colombia's indoor farms have innovative rainwater capturing and filtering systems that filter out toxins. Then, that filtered water is guided into the building for further irrigation of the produce itself. Now, you may be wondering what would happen in the event of a failure. In a power shortage, a computer program will freeze some of the water in our water storage facilities, which will then spin the hydropower turbines to create energy. This water is pre-filtered before being pumped, meaning our city will have near instant clean energy and water for our citizens to use in case of a water emergency. Leo Columbia also takes the precaution of testing the water facilities and pollutants each month. All these systems combined make Leo Columbia the smart, green, and resilient city of the future.